here. So thanks so much for joining us this evening. I also want to recognize, and I'm thrilled to mention, that we have alumni, family, and friends of the U from all across the country. We have participants from as far west as California and as far north as Michigan. So thank you all for participating in this evening's event. I also want to mention that Arcane's community was able to collectively raise $340 to the Palm Beach County Canes Scholarship Fund, thanks to all of you and your support. So before we get started on the creative side of this evening's event, I wanna take a couple of minutes to mention just a few housekeeping items. Um, the chat feature for this evening will be available. So please feel free to introduce yourself, interact with each other. Um, this is really meant to be a casual and fun event. So please do take the time to um, get to know each other. I also wanna mention that this evening's event is going to be recorded for those who were unable to attend tonight um, so that they may access it at a later time. You will also have the ability to mute and unmute yourselves again, just to make this fun and interactive. But we do ask that all of you please be respectful of the other guests. So let's have a little fun. Get out your paintbrushes and all of your supplies. And I'm gonna turn it over to K Carrie from KB Social Artworking, who's gonna give us some of the background instructions um, and uh, just lead this evening's event. So Carrie, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm glad to see everybody online tonight. Uh, these are the examples of the door hangers that we will be painting tonight. This is the Florida one that we have. This is the football one, if you selected this one. And this is the helmet one, if you selected this one. So what we'll do is I will show you basic, uh, the basic st steps to get started and we'll get started painting them at any time. If you need any of those examples brought back up, please let me know and I'll do that for you. I'll show you each first step on each shape to get started and then we'll continue on from there. I'm gonna multitask and do all three at the same time for you. So let's start with the football since it's the, probably the most simple, uh, simplest. We'll start with Carrie. With that. Carrie, I have one question before you get started. How many glasses of wine do you think we need to get through this one? Uh, this is a two glass of which, wine night? Uh, yeah, I think it could be a two glass night. That would be a fun part. Just so I'm prepared. Okay. If you have the Florida shape one, what you'll need to do is you'll need a little masking tape and you can start taping off while I get everybody started on the football one. Go ahead and tape off your Florida like this so that you can get your brown or whatever color you want to make the state in done without getting tape on it. So if you have the Florida shape and you have the masking tape laying around, which I think I put on your sheet that you probably need, not everybody will need it. The Florida, the football shape will not need it. The helmet and the Florida shape will. So go ahead and put a little tape there just to kind of lock those off for you. And then on the helmet, you're gonna need a little bit of masking tape here to kind of put off right here, tape off all the sections here so that you can do your words first on your helmet. If you don't wanna do your words first, you could do the outside first, but I recommend doing the words first. So go ahead and tape off the helmet like this and around here, all around here. Okay. So let me get you started. So for the football, we put just the basic brown down first on the whole football. And I tried to simulate the color of the football as best as possible. And this is the larger sponge brush that you got in your packet. You're gonna use that for your majority of your color. And you're just gonna paint right over the words and everything. Just go ahead and paint the entire football. 
a nice thin coat goes on pretty easy and you really don't need to tape off anything on this part because this one is the 2D part. And I'll show you how to do the letters and everything next. If you have a wet paper towel or a baby wipe laying around, you might need that for some assistance on painting because sometimes when you go over the edges, you get a little bit of paint that goes on the outside part. And I don't paint the outside part of my shapes. And the reason I don't do that is because they're laser cut and they look really nice not painted. However, if you want to go back and paint them, feel free. But I generally don't paint the shapes on the outside. And I know this is going to be a little bit of multitasking and I'm going to go as quick as possible. So that gives you a general idea of how much you're going to paint your football. And I'm just going to show you how to put the paint on. And then if you want to make it look a little bit more weathered or lightened, again, that paper towel or baby wipe that you have, you could take that and rub some of the paint off and that shows some of the wood texture through if you want to do that effect. That'll also push some of your paint around on your football as well. So see how that kind of takes some of the paint off of the project? That is an effect. If you want to do that, you can. I'm going to multitask here, move the football out of the way. Now for the helmet, I made the inside of my words on this one, the orange, and then the outside, the green. So if you want to do those colors that way, you can. If you want to make them a different color, feel free to do that as well. I'm going to finish taping this real quick. So you can see that. See where I'm taping it. Taping it just basically at the letters here. And this tape is just keeping it from going over onto the helmet part. That way you don't have to worry about the paint getting on there. And then we're just going to reverse this tape as we go along. So if you have the helmet, go ahead and finish taping it up. If you're working on the football, keep working on the brown. So Carrie, if you're a risk taker, you can just you go, can go for it and tape. not yeah. use the mask. <laughs> if you're a risk taker and you, if you're not precise and, or if you're not as meticulous as I am, <laughs> you can go for it. You can just use your sponges. So I have a, I had included in the kits as well, and the football especially, I mean, in the helmet is uh, the smaller sponges. I'm gonna show you how to do that. The, foot, the helmet one is the one dimensional shape. The other two are two dimensional shapes. <clears throat> So like I said, I made the middle part of my helmet orange. So I'm just taking one of the smaller shape brushes and I'm just going to paint in here lightly and get all of my letters done. This color is a little bit opaque, so you may need a second coat. And go ahead and paint in all of your letters, just like this. And while you guys are painting that, I'm going to get everyone started on the Florida Shape One. That has the Florida Shape One. So I'm just going to set mine aside. So you can, you're going to probably still see your wood grain through your paint. And that's okay because it's a wood door hanger. can see mine through on my examples that I showed you earlier. You can still see the wood grain through mine. And I tried to pick through and give you guys all the pretty ones. 
I kept all the naughty ones over here at my side. So I'm gonna move this aside just for a second and then show you where to get started on the Florida one. So on the Florida one, we're gonna start on the inside and work our way out. Here I made the state the same color as the football and the, the small football on here, just to give it a little contrast. Again, you can use whichever color you prefer, but to make the U shine up, this is what we did. So we just painted this the brown. And then again, if you wanted to make it look a little lighter by taking a wet paper towel, a damp paper towel, not a sock, so uh, not a soaking wet one, but like a damp one. You can go ahead and put the brown in there and then you can take that brown back up like we did with the football. And just kind of rub it back up a little bit. And that just gives it more of a stained look and not such a painted look. But just a very lightly damp paper towel. It can even just be misted. And as you can see, I'm pushing the paint out of the foam brush because I don't want to put a ton of paint on there. It just gives it a little bit better look. Anybody have any questions? Anything I can help with for a minute? So here I've painted all of the state and I'm just going to use this damp wipe here to just kind of go back and blend up some of the paint, take some off, almost make it look like it's a stain. Kara, we have a question in the chat. Uh, should they put two coats of paint? That's completely up to you. If you want to put two coats of paint on, you can. I personally like seeing the wood show through. So if you'd like to put two coats of paint on, that's your option. That's a personal choice. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and show everybody some more of the football. Get a little bit more done, let you guys get caught up and work on some of your other parts there. Hey, the Carrie, football. out of curiosity, did, I think you told me that most people got the state of Florida, right? Right, right. That's interesting. I think that the football was in the minority, which is what I got. Is that correct? Um, the helmet actually was the minority. The helmet was the least selected. Interesting. Yeah, the helmet, I think we only had total four, maybe three or four. The state of Florida was the first selected and then the football was the second. I'd have to double check all the numbers. The state of Florida one, I think was one that I, asked her to design from that one example I sent you when we first started talking about it, what, four months ago? <laughs> yeah, I was actually at Carrie's at a live painting class um, and everyone kind of did their own project. And some kid next to me was painting an FSU thing and I almost had a heart attack. So right. that's what I asked <laughs> Carrie. I'm like, where's the good football? <laughs> and that one was the state of Florida as well, but it was a different uh -huh. shape. It was the actual state with the FSU Seminole inside the state. And it was all, it was the, 
the state of Florida long way, not a circle. And then there's a Gators one like that as well. And a Georgia Bulldog one. It was time for the U. Thank you, Tammy. <laughs> yeah, right? we, pretend we didn't hear any we of those. Fix this. <laughs> we got to fix this. So I think what Carrie said in summary, they weren't as good as UM. That was what I captured from, from that conversation. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Big rivals there. So once you get everything painted on the football, I will put mine aside. I'm just getting the middle done real quick so that I can show you where the U is gonna go. And again, on the football, if you want to do two coats on the football, feel free. I mean, just the trick is with the, the paint is to let the first coat dry and then do a second coat and it'll stick a lot better. So wet paint picks up wet paint. I know that that doesn't really make a lot of sense sometimes, but in the art world, it's very much true. Layers are better. So I'm gonna keep, just turn this around. And I know it seems like I'm going really fast. And I apologize, but I'm just trying to cover all three for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Carrie, I actually have a question for the audience. Since I'm working off of a phone, I'm curious if anyone else has a tiny little human or a four-legged friend that's helping them on their art project this evening. I have my trusty assistant with me tonight. <laughs> the cutest trusty assistant. <laughs> she is pretty cute. I tried to get my teenage daughter to come help me and she refuses, so. <laughs> <laughs> she does it a lot. Oh no, <laughs> we have a major problem. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh my gosh, Melanie. <laughs> yeah. That's that's happening right now. <laughs> it's, it's an immersive experience. Did she eat the paint? She uh, looks pretty all over her face. But it's okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> it's all in good fun. O only the best artists are covered in paint. Only mm -hmm. I usually have paint somewhere on me. All I have a whole half of a closet full of paint clothes. Oh, I see. Uh, I see. Amanda's trusty assistant has shown up to work as well. Yes. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh her cheerleading uniform on. <laughs> she's not painting. <laughs> she's supervising. Aww. Okay, so that is one and a half coats. Go back to the helmet. I'm gonna go back to the helmet here. Now the bottom one here, once you get all of the orange or whatever color you decided to make the top part painted, just dragging this foam brush lightly over the letters won't give you too much runoff into the side. And I kind of do this, I tap it on into this bigger parts and then smooth it out. And that keeps it from running into the corners and the cracks and everything. And you can just use this foam brush to kind of rub it on, slide it on, however you need to. And somebody did ask me, and not in this class, but in another class, they said, why are you giving us makeup sponges? Well, we will soon go over that. They are our best friend when it comes to letters. They were baffled that I gave them makeup sponges. In my art world, I use almost anything and everything to get paint on. I do a lot of work with assisted living and senior facilities and they love it when I bring Q-tips and cotton balls. 
We make the most fun stuff with those. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Why did they like it? They just get a kick out of that you're using it to paint? Yeah, their, their responses are always, I couldn't even believe I would be using a Q-tip to make this beautiful flower, or I can't believe I would be using a cotton ball to make clouds and, and you know, other flowers. They just can't believe it because, you know, a lot of them, you would think they would have a lot of exposure to art, but honestly, they said they never really painted and never really did anything like that until they went to, you know, assisted living. And, you know, some of them are in acute memory care and, you know, Alzheimer's wards and stuff. So they don't remember everything, but they remember a lot more than people give them credit for, that's for sure. And they, um, <clears throat> they really look forward to art. And some days I have them sitting well, pre-COVID, now I do a lot through Zoom. I'm actually going back to a lot of them this month for the first time in a long time. And uh, pre-COVID, they would all sit outside waiting for me and walk with me to the room that we were going to be painting in. It was a great, great thing. I'd have a welcoming committee. So if you do get paint in a place you're not supposed to get paint, for example, I got some here. The green will cover the orange. You can just take a little bit of a wet paper towel or a baby wipe and wipe that off. So once you get your letters done, you can just take your tape up, give it a second to dry, and then we're gonna reverse this tape so that we cover our orange while we paint on the other part. I think the helmet intimidated a lot of people because it looks the most complex, I think. And I'm just gonna lay this here. It's not completely dry, but I can go back over it. And I'm gonna paint my football real quick. So this will be the same brown color that we used in the big football, the state of Florida. But my preschoolers, they use everything to paint, including their goldfish. I did a birthday party once Sorry. where we... Goldfish like in crackers or like the actual fish? I did a birthday party once for five-year-olds and they had goldfish as a snack and the birthday boy thought it was funny to take the goldfish and paint his painting. So of course, you know, monkey see, monkey do. They all decided that it would be a good idea. Oh man, <laughs> it was super cute, but I don't, I felt bad for the mom. <laughs> she was not pleased. Fun. Yeah, she wasn't pleased with the mess that made, but. Melanie, there's an idea for the next birthday party for one of your kids. All <laughs> right, goldfish painting. <laughs> um, to all the moms out there, painting parties are the best. Ella's having a blast. Yeah, <laughs> they are fun. Kids love to paint. Okay, and then just to get to the next step on the helmet, and then I'm gonna switch back over to the state of Florida. If you're done with your football, I'm also gonna show you how to um, get to the next step on that as well. I'll do that first before this. The state of Florida and the football have similar techniques, so. Carrie, I have a there. question for you on the chat. Sure. It's yeah, it's a, I'm, a page says I'm doing the helmet. Which brush do I use for the football portion? Do I use a sponge or do I wash the orange from the letters? Uh, no, you, you should have more than one sponge. And if you don't, you can use one of these part, one of these makeup sponges for the, uh, okay. Yeah, they're recording it. Okay, so you can use one of these and you can paint the football with this as well. 
and then you can just cut it like this. You could take a pair of scissors and cut the end off and use this again. Hold this by the skinny side and use the fat side to paint it on if you don't have multiple sponges, but you should have multiple sponges. You should have enough for each part. You should have two or three sponges. You may have little ones and you may have big ones. So if you're doing the football, you can you can tape this part off of the white part of the helmet and then reverse your tape over to the orange to cover it up so you can do the green next. Yeah, you have three. Okay, great. So you should have one for each color if you need it because the makeup sponges are what we're going to use for the letters and the U. Well, I think I got wrong side of both here. So what you're going to need next for the football letters, you're going to need your makeup sponge. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit of the white paint. I'm gonna put it on this just so I can move it around a little easier. And you're gonna take your makeup sponge, hold it by the skinny side using the fat side for your paint. You're gonna take a little bit of your white paint, dip it in, dip the sponge in, and then just take some back off so it's not completely soaked. And then what you wanna do is you wanna tap on your color like this. And if you tap it on, it just gives you a little bit better coverage than rubbing it on. Because remember, these are laser cut and there is some black soot on the outside edges. And if you tap it on, you don't hit the edge as much. And it covers a little bit better than rubbing it on. And when you do tap them on, try not to hold it in your hand, keep it flat on the table because they are fragile, they will break. I've broken many letters in my time. So remember you put a little paint on, tap it off on extra off on your plate. And if you don't have enough room on your plate, you can always put your paint on, tap it off on a paper towel or the edge, whatever works best for you. So this takes a few minutes to do. And you're also going to do this for your letters for your football, but in the orange. So your letters and your U came like this. The only thing you're going to do white, this is again, if you want to, this is all optional. You can be as creative as you want. And I'm assuming everyone knows that the left side of the U is orange and the right side of the U is green. But just yeah, my paper might be, is my paper backwards on the screen? Or no, I just, okay. no, but some people may not realize it. And we tried to package everything so nothing would break. So for this part of the football, what you're going to do, I mean, the state of Florida, is these little pieces of the U come out. So you're going to pop those out. And then you're going to take the white and do the frame of it. So you're going to do the outside frame. I know some people are probably looking at that going, how does she think I'm going to do this? So this is how. So you're going to do the outside frame with the makeup sponge and the white paint. And this is the only thing white on the state of Florida, unless you change it up. And the white, you definitely would probably need to do two coats. So let one coat dry and then do a second coat, unless you like it a little bit lighter. I'm going to let that dry for a moment. I'm going to work on this for a second. 
So while you're letting your white dry on your state of Florida, and if you're still working on your letters for your football, just keep going. So you get them all covered. You might need a second coat there too as well. You can take, you probably have more than one makeup sponge in your bag. Uh, you're going to take your green, same thing, just put a little bit on there, and you're going to tap on one side of your U. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera, I try to hold my hands up so I don't pounce too hard. How's everybody doing? Everybody okay? Any questions? And then we're gonna take our other makeup sponge and we're gonna do it the same thing with the other side of the U and the orange. This is for the state of Florida. and let these set aside for just a moment to dry. Go back and do another coat of white on the outside part here, the bracket part. So see how this side has one coat of white and this side has two coats of white. There is a little bit of a difference in the coloring, as you can see. Gary? Yes, ma'am. Is this, is this the white, right? This is not blue. What's that? Is this the white, this little bottle? Um, the white should be in one of the little bottles, yes. Okay. You should have green, orange, and white. And I have brown too. It's just the white's not taking in the wood. I'm having that same problem. Yeah, I think it seems, Carrie, like the white is glue for some Ooh. reason. Yeah, I had to smell really? it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I like sniffing glue. I mean, clear. We're we just we just still at the world that we're glue sniffers. Huh. That's very yeah, odd. Just buy white paint at the craft store, right? At Michaels or something. Yes, that is, you can get just plain white paint there, but this is very high end white paint. I wonder. It's not sticking at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's mine. It's same way. What I did, guys, is I had a bottle of white spray paint and I literally just ran outside and spray painted it white. <laughs> Good for you. Because it, it, it wasn't white enough. I, wonder, wasn't. I really I, think it's glue because it's just sticking to my fingers. It's I not. I thought, it, yeah. That is very odd. Um, I did not. Elizabeth add. says try shaking it up. Maybe that. I did. I did. I did. I think it just is not very thick. I think. Huh. Well, I think that we were not infringing any branding guidelines, right? So I think I, we'll um, find. Well, we can I, also paint it orange or oh, green, right? Yeah, yeah. you can. Right. You can make the letters any colors you want. So yeah. if you don't want to use the white. You can use orange or green, and then this can just have the the wood shape around it if you like, or you can make it orange or green, whichever you prefer. Um, I apologize. I don't know what the deal is with the white. I didn't personally bottle it up because I had one of my helpers help me, so I didn't pay attention to it. I apologize. Um, if anybody needs me to ship them additional white paint, I'm more than happy to do so. If you don't have access to any, if you want to do it white, but you should be able to go right over what you've already done um, and do it. I'm going to make mine green and it might even look better. So how about that? Right. It might even look better if you do it. Sorry, I have a quick More orange you. and green is great. Is, is the paint water-based? 
Like, will it come out of clothing or off skin? It should come out of clothing, clothing and children, yes. <laughs> it I is, just um, used a baby wipe and it worked. It came right off. Perfect. Yeah, I use a baby wipe on everything and it comes right off. That is very odd. I'm going to have to check that white paint because I have three containers full of it. Uh -oh. I just hope mm -hmm. I didn't get bad white paint. I'll bring mine over to you, Carrie, so you could check it out. Okay, thank you. And, and Jocelyn is asking, um, can white paint go over it if they put some glue already on top? If they put what? If they put some the, the glue um, already. Oh yeah, yeah, you can put it, just let it dry for a second. It's definitely not glue unless somehow glue got into a paint can. <sighs> That's very odd. Yeah, maybe it just wasn't stirred or something. Maybe. $45 for the whole can. <laughs> Gonna have to go get that checked. All of my supply costs have gone through the roof. Um, so for this H, the, this part comes down on this part. So whatever color you're making it, you just want to make sure you get it the right way because with the H, it's not attached. So you could possibly do it upside down, which I have done before and I have done it backwards. And I have painted the wrong side. So which way did the, the little um, knob on the H goes? Okay, like that. Okay. That way. Yep. Oh um, no, I painted it the wrong way. <laughs> painted oh, it the wrong yep. way. I painted it backwards too. Let me flip it. That's okay. I do that all the time. I do that oh, often. Okay. What would it now be so the, Now for the little letters, the Miami um, hurricane little letters, what I do is I spell them out so I can see how they all look. So I don't have to paint them upside down. You can also lay them on top of your state if you want to on the state of Florida. See, on the back part of the little letters, you can usually see where the burn lines are so that you can see the back part. Those are the backs. And then again, this is the same technique that we just used on the white, but you're going to use whatever color you want to use. So if you made your outer circle, which I was going to make mine the green on this, I was going to make mine the green on the outer circle and then make my letters orange. So if that's what you would like to do, you can do that. If you want to do the reverse, you can do that as well. You can do any colors you want. So I'm just going to show you here real quick that I was going to take this and paint this outer edge here, the green. Let me turn it so you can see it. I'm going to just hold it up a little bit so that I can multitask here. When you get to this part where the tape is, what you want to do is you just want to reverse it. You're probably not going to need as much to reverse it. Just lay it down, cover your brown, and then you can continue on. So if you wanted to make this orange and make the letters green, you're more than welcome to. If you wanted to um, make your letters brown. You could do that as well. You could do whatever you like, except for not white tonight, unless you have white lamp. <laughs> <laughs> you 
embarrassing. <laughs> So I'm going to just paint over this part and then I'll show you on the top part how the letters fit on top. They're already etched out for you, so it makes it foolproof for you to line them up here. But when you get them done painted, you're going to just lay them right on top of the etched out part. So for instance, here's an eye. As you can see, it's just going to lay right there so it makes it foolproof for you that you can lay them right on top. Okay. I'm going to keep spinning this a little bit to get a little bit more green on there, being brave and changing over my other letters. And again, if you get paint down on the edges like this, I just take a wet paper towel or a baby wipe and I just go around and clean up my edges, as you can see here. Is that a question or was that just something that was attached? I'm not sure. I think it was just an attachment. Yeah, it's just a picture of one okay. of them. I didn't know if it was something you needed me to look at. I need an assistant to watch the computer for me. <laughs> Tammy, can you tell us again which cut, which green, which side of the U is green and which is orange? The left side of the U is orange, the right uh -huh. side of the U is green. And I always Sorry. remember it because of the little cheer during football season, orange and green, let's go. So the uh -huh. orange first, then the green. <laughs> okay. Left to right. I made my letters orange because my white, I had a problem too, and I think they look really good. I think they're going to look Oh, actually, they look nice. Right. Yeah, they're going to pop up off the football yeah. really well. My spray paint is burning. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Luisa, you looks great. Look at that. Here, can we tell them the story about the paint, about the paint colors? Did I tell them about that? No, should we tell them? Sure, yeah, you can tell them. So my oh. son wanted his room painted in hurricane colors. So I went to the local home improvement store and you know they have a brochure with all of the paint colors. And they actually, they, they used to have college colors but they discontinued oh. them. Then they had NFL colors, but the dolphins are aqua, you know, and there's really, no NFL team that's exactly our green. So they had NBA colors. So I, I believe the green is Milwaukee Bucks green and the orange is the New York Knicks orange. And it matches perfectly, but that's actually what they are. Milwaukee Bucks green and New York Knicks orange. <laughs> And if you live local to the 33412 zip code, the Ace Hardware Store at the Publix Plaza now has these colors saved on file as Miami University colors. Okay. <laughs> That's so a store. The colors. <laughs> Those That's other good. ones, the Milwaukee Bucks and the New York Knicks, I think they were from Home Depot, right? Not Lowe's. I think they were Home Depot. If anyone ever wants to paint their bedroom Canes colors, there you go. Right. And after three hours of color matching, this is the colors we got <laughs> at the local hardware store.
Yes, I apologize. Uh, if you need me to send you white paint, if that's if you're not able to get it or can't find it, please let me know and I will send you a bottle of real white paint. And I think what happened is possibly the can was not stirred properly. So if we go to our local, you know, Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever and get it, it's acrylic craft paint that we want, right? Yes, you can use acrylic craft paint. I use deco art paint 99% um, of the time. Okay. You can also, okay. if you have some basic flat white paint laying around your house that you use for touch-ups on the walls, you can also use that. You can use any white-based paint. But 99% of the time I use acrylic deco art. You can use apple barrel. You can use plaid. You can use any Martha Stewart, whatever color white you want to use. I definitely think the can wasn't shook or stirred properly. But please send me an email or text message or whatever you need and I'll send you a replacement if you need it. So I'm just pouncing on like we did with the white <clears throat> or I did with the white, the letters, the little letters are not as big. So you're gonna probably get your fingers just a little bit dirty. I'm doing one coat of the orange here. Is anybody else done? I see Luisa's done with hers. That looks great. Thank you. Oh, Tammy, I think you're muted. Yeah, that does look good. Good job. I love so the I orange. Go ahead and glue my things, but I'll listen to Carrie and not do it. I'm like, I was using this. <laughs> it's like orange in the picture. Right. Or is it brown? Is that brown? For the state of Florida? Yeah. Yeah, it was the brown. <laughs> I like it in orange. You can, it you can nice. make it any color you like. I like the way that you did it. It looks really good. You can do anything you like. I like it. More and orangey green. green. I like it. Yeah. I'm just getting the color back on here real quick. I'm gonna move these aside and show you how to put the letters on. And then if for their U on the football, you can use your sponges, or if you have these dirty already, you can use those, whatever works best for you. I know, um, for the football, you probably only had one makeup sponge. I'm not sure. I'm just putting these over here so they can dry and get out of the way. I feel like we're playing Scrabble. One of the pieces. So for this, you're going to just go ahead and paint these the colors that they should be. This side is the orange. And again, if you go over the edges and you feel like you got paint on the outside here, you can just take a wet paper towel or wipe and just go back in and just wipe it up like that. Clean up your edges. Remove that over there. 
Orange and green looks great on the screen. It does. I'm mistaking that picture, so I'm posting. And if you want to put two coats on here, you can. If you want to do one coat, you can. Whatever works best for you. Can we start gluing it from the head or do you want yep, to? You sure can. You can go ahead and start gluing. You don't need a lot of glue. It's just a very tiny bit. That E6000 works beautifully. Holds really well. So you don't need a ton. So let me grab the um, Data Florida here and just show you how to glue it down. And that would be the same on all of them that you have to glue. The helmet, you don't have to glue anything. But on the helmet, so if you've finished with the orange, you can just reverse your tape now and go ahead and put this green. And then you can make this part here, since I had it white, you can make this orange if your white isn't working correctly. I don't know if it's everybody that's having an issue with the white or if it's just certain people, but you can go ahead and reverse that and then go ahead and make this out part, outer part the green. And then I'll go ahead and show you how to do the, the letters. I can prior gluing. Um, when you glue these, and I know I'm not the teacher here, but when you glue these and you get excited and you want to hang it on your wall, maybe let it dry flat overnight because I made something similar for my son's room and it was all glued. And then when I hung it up the next day, the, the letter slid down a little because I was too excited in hanging it up. So maybe let it dry flat before you put it up. Yeah, and another little trick that I'm going to show you with the state of Florida here is that you can also, if you don't want to get the glue all over you, is what you can do is you can put a little bit of the glue on the actual shape instead. So for instance, let me just pull this off real quick. <coughs> So for instance, you can take the glue. Sorry, I have a big glue because all of your, you could just put it right on the shape like this. And you can do that. And you just wanna make sure that you get it on the edge of where you're gonna have it. So for instance, my glue is a little bit thicker because I don't have any of the little ones. They're all packed up in your kits. So just make sure you get it all over where it's gonna be. And the E6000 dries clear. So you don't have to worry about it showing. And then you can pop your pieces in like this. And again, the U also has an etched line for you so that you can see exactly where it's supposed to go. How cute is that, huh? And then if you want to go ahead and put the little bit of a little dab of glue on your letters on the board, if you don't want to hold them, you can just go ahead and put them, put the glue right on the shape, maybe. Here. There we go. Just put a little tiny doll up there. You don't need a lot and then do two letters and then go back and do another letter. And again, make sure you keep it flat for a little while. Let the glue set up because it does doesn't dry instantly. E6000 takes about 20 to 30 minutes to set up. See how much easier that is than trying to hold the shape and glue it. 
and you just need a tiny bit. You don't need a whole bunch. kind of just wiggle it a little bit just to make sure the glue is behind it and to let it stick to it. And then I'm going to show you guys how to tie your ropes on. I think we're doing okay for timing, right? Yeah. about five more minutes for eight. Okay. I'm really impressed. These are all coming out so great. I know they're a lot bigger than you probably thought they were going to be. But when you look at them from the road, they're going to make a statement, right? Yeah. They look good. <laughs> As they should. Yeah. They're going to make a statement. They are so nice. I'm just going to set this one aside and show you how to glue the football together. And again, you can. Tracy, you're done. Looks good. It looks really good. But melon is my favorite for sure. Thanks. <laughs> Amy, let me see yours. Oh, nice. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, good job. I feel that you need to like put a stick on the back and to put it on the yarn instead. Yeah, I think the orange looks good with the. That looks great. Yeah, oh. great. Oh, yeah. See? see what happens? Yeah. <laughs> I get too excited in my. <laughs> I love how Tammy just did a whole entire demonstration in glue. <laughs> yeah, after I told you not to hold it up and I held it up and look, my glue fell. Look at her, not do what she does. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my green just didn't dry all the way. And I'm going to keep my H off for just a second because I need to do a second coat on it. Here I am. The pier, will you mention also about how they might want to spray it? Yes. So if you uh, would like to keep it weatherproof, you can buy. I have a can sitting right here. I had a can sleep right there. It just fell, it fell over. I pushed it over with the football. Um, you can buy a can of non-yellowing polyurethane. You can get that at Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, Target. Uh, I think Target sells it too. Um, you can order it on Amazon. It's just a spray can of protective coating to keep it from getting ruined by the weather. Um, if, if you're going to hang it where it's going to hit any of the elements. And if you're hanging it on the front door, living in Florida, you're probably going to have elements. So, not everybody lives in Florida, though. Let me show you a picture of it. Harry, we have a question for you. Did you paint a uh, brown under the U? Uh, yes, I painted the whole football brown under everything. So it's called Krylon Non-Yellowing. That looks and it great. Says right on it, Non-Yellowing Moisture Resistant Dries in Minutes. 
And it doesn't have to be Krylon. There's a couple different brands that you can get. Okay, so this is the football. And then the state of Florida, the helmet's not complete yet, but we can go back to that. Um, for the state of Florida, for hanging the rope on it, I'm just going to show you real quick how I did it. Because it doesn't have any holes. But once you get your letters on here, you can see that in the picture, how I hung it on the outside edge here, I just put it on the outside part of each letter and the letters kind of hold it in place. So you may want to wait for your letters to dry completely before putting the rope on, but all I did was tie it on. I just tied it where the knot was in the back. So what you're going to do is you're going to just take your rope Tie it. You could tie it loosely, you could tie it tight, whatever you prefer. I did it a little looser so that the knot would slide to the back. And I just kind of rolled it to the back and then tuck this little tail underneath here. You can also tie it, and I did it on the top here so that um, it would be more balanced on each side on that. And then for the helmet and the football, it has holes. So you can tie those right into the holes. And the bow goes into a hole as well. Let me just show you on the original here. But if you're gonna spray it, again, yeah. I've learned this the hard way, spray it and then put the bow on. <laughs> Right, right. So I've had to cut have, my bow off and spray it. Yeah. And the bow. Really, we, it <laughs> we did. Yes, really. Right. So on the back of this, on the back of the state of Florida, you can see the the knots are on the back side, and then the bow is off to the side. But if you're gonna spray it, you want to make sure that you wait to spray it and then put all this on. Then on the helmet, I did the same thing. I put the knots on the back side. And then you can see here how the bow is in the hole as well with the rope. And then it, it keeps it up to the top and it keeps it flatter for you. And once you hang it, you can fluff it and your, and your bows have wire in them. So you can also turn them up like this. You can make them so that they sit, stand up a little bit more. All right, so you're not tying the bow to the rope, you're tying it through the hole. Into the hole, yep. So you're tying the rope into the hole. So you can see right here, I looped it into the hole and then I tied it in the back behind the football. Can you see that? So it's in the hole. I looped it through the hole and through the top of the football. See how it's separate there? Gotcha. And then to tie the rope on, I can show you real quick on the football, show you how I tie it. So you put the rope in through the front. You just cut a piece off big enough for finished product here. Put the rope in through the front and then tie it in a knot on the back of the football like this. So I put it in through the front and now I'm going to flip it over so you can see what I'm doing. And you want to wait till your letters are dry until you do this, unless you prop it up like I just did. And then I pull it so that the tail, this straggly part comes down in the behind part of the football so it doesn't show. And then you're just going to do the opposite for the other side. See, my H just moved because it wasn't dry. You don't really have to make it super, super tight, but if you make it pretty tight, it'll stay in place for you. You don't have to pull it so tight that you crack the wood. 
and then you stick the bow right through here. And Carrie, while we wrap up the last little loose ends, I may quickly, if we could, because I think there might be a couple of people that might need to drop off in just a few. For those okay. of you who are on, I'd love for the team to grab a quick photo of all of us with our works of art. So would everybody just mind um, grabbing their artwork and just trying to get a quick photo? Um, the team's gonna snap one for us. All right, ready? Awesome. All right, go Canes. Everybody has them up. <laughs> Love it. Thank you guys. And Carrie, a special thank you to you. Um, we really appreciate you walking us through all of this. Um, I had a great time. I know Ella had a great time. I think the rest of the team had a great time. So we really appreciate you putting this all together for us. And yeah, everyone thank you for joining us. Job. It looks great. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. Oh, we're, gonna have a little, we're gonna have a few poll questions, I believe, right? Oh, you're absolutely right. I apologize, okay. my oversight. There should be a couple of poll questions. Well, I apologize. I think I might be reading the poll questions. Um, oh, we got them on the screen, Melody, should... you're good. Perfect. So if you guys wouldn't mind before you head out, take a few moments to answer those poll questions and a special thanks to all of you again for joining us this evening. Go Canes. Go Canes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Carrie. Appreciate it. You're welcome. This was Thank wonderful. You.